So, congratulations on being manager. How does it feel to be back at the club? Uh, obviously, brilliant to be back at the club. Um, you know, I missed it when I was away. Uh, so, yeah, it's a great feeling. It's, it's a tough task um, coming back. It's different circumstances where I've took took over this year to when I first did. So, it's harder, a lot harder job. Um, but yeah, obviously, I'm really pleased about that. And what persuaded you to return to the club? Uh, I mean, I've always I've always loved the club. I've been a Lincoln United person, you know, since I was a young kid. To be honest, I played for, uh, for the club, um, you know, and then obviously assistant manager, then manager. So it was it was a no-brainer really. Um, I obviously spoke to the chairman, he did give me um, assurances that the plans behind the scenes uh, are looking good. Um, so yeah, it was, it was a no-brainer, I was always going to come back. Like you said, it is a difficult task, but how do you yeah. aim to turn things around? Well, well I think we've, you know, it's, it's a difficult job. I think we've lost eight players already and it's been a, a difficult week to try to get players in, but yeah, I, I can't fault the players who've come in today, I thought they were, they were excellent. You know. Um, so I'll be looking to still bring a couple more players in, but the, the, today's performance gives me enough belief to think that we'll get six points to stay in the league. And will you be staying um, till the end of the season or past that? Uh, oh, just to the end of the season for now, the interim, we said we'll uh, have a look at it in the summer, you know, but hopefully if I can get a, a good enough couple of results I'll be here next year. And what's your message to fans for the rest of the season? I mean, you know, we're, we're trying to bring a few Lincoln players back to the club. We, we want it to be a little bit more local um, than what it was, you know. So we want people in Lincoln to come and support Lincoln players, if you like, or Lincolnshire players. Um, you know, we'll have to have one or two from out of, out of the city, but that's the general message. You come and support the lads. They're, we're Lincoln people. We're Lincoln United through and through. You know, we want to bring a bit of fight and a bit of pride back to the shirt, which you know, it's, it's arguably not been there this lately. And while you lost today, were you satisfied with the performance and the effort show? Yeah, yeah, definitely the effort, 100. percent You know, the, the, but that effort and performance. So yeah, we've conceded two poor goals. That's a disappointing thing. But I can't really blame the lads and point the fingers because the, the shift and the effort they put in. You know, we, we didn't probably look like scoring too much, but the plan was to try to keep it uh, to nil as po early as pos long as possible. Sorry. That was obviously changed after three minutes, but we said to the lads, just stick in there. And I thought we was growing into the game, um, and then we conceded again, which is disappointing because it was another poor goal to, uh, to concede. But I thought the response second half, and again, we didn't really look like scoring too much, but you know, I didn't think they opened us up, um, so it was a brilliant defensive performance from you know lads who'd been thrown together, really. The back four never played of each other. Callum Ward hadn't played for probably three or four months, um, you know, so really pleasing really with considering the circumstances. And they were thrown together today, yeah. what did you say to them in the dressing room before the game, given that they hadn't really had much time to yeah. get to know each other? I mean, don't get me wrong, I know like Kyle Bryant is experienced, Callum Ward's experienced, Michael Jackman is experienced, Callum Smith, so I knew they'd, they'd be fine, they know the way around the football pitch, but we, this week in training, the lads who have been here before, we tried to take the burden off them a little bit and try to get them to enjoy football again. And, you know, and basically put that pride back in the shirt. And I think every one of them today, and the, even the lads who've come on, played a huge part. And they showed that they, you know, they're here for the fight, and they've brought their bit of pride back to the shirt. Having said that, it's still, you know, still a, a result we haven't got anything from. But the performance that we can be positive to look forward and hopefully, you know, get some results we uh, hopefully will get. And there was a bit of miscommunication for the first goal. Yeah. Do you think that was maybe because they hadn't got to know each other? Uh, Yes, and no, I'm not sure about that. In all fairness, uh, but I think we've got to be loud. You know, the, the, the lad Ross has been excellent. To be fair, I think it's maybe a little bit of nerves. I'm not sure, but throughout the game, I thought he's excellent. He made a great save to sort of like redeem that. And I think if you just clear information, um, it's pretty basic. To be fair, but you know, I wouldn't really blame him because he, he had such a good game after that. And there are some players which weren't in the squad, like uh, Christopher Pissy. Is yeah. he still part of the club? Yes, he's still part of the club. He's actually working today, which was disappointing. Um, we've, yeah, we uh, we, we trained really well Wednesday, and real positive session, and he, he threw it at me and said he's working. So that's disappointing. Um, there's obviously a few left. I think seven or eight have left um, through their choice. I tried to keep everyone, you know, give them an opportunity, and you know, for them to give me an opportunity, really. So I'm pleased with the lads who have stayed, and you know, they've, they've hung about because they've, they've been doing a lot of travelling for for not a lot of money and it's just about covering their expenses so really pleased with the attitude of them. And you're not back at Ashby Avenue for quite a while now until yeah. I think mid-April. Um, 
how do you plan to improve Lincoln United's form on the road? Uh, yeah, I mean, we'll, we'll set up similar to what we've done today. You know, we'll try to be hard to beat first and foremost, but we've got to somehow try to find a way to try to score, try to be a bit more attacking. But, you know, we've played the league leaders today, you know, so we weren't expected to create five or six chances. We, we had a couple of set pieces maybe we could have done a little bit better with. We had the one where Kyle just got in down the right hand side where the ref pulled it up, which, you know, I wouldn't blame the ref for it, but it's, that's probably our best opportunity to, to have a real good chance. So, uh, yeah, moving forward, we, we need to be more creative, but again, the lads have been thrown together today. They've got some good technical players in the team. Um, and that's, that's what we're trying to do. I knew the back four would be able to cope, no problem, and I thought that was excellent. I mean, the lad up front for them, Stevenson, is as good as there is in the league and probably, you know, definitely good enough for at least the league above. And we kept him quiet, even though he scored the goal, We, in general, we kept him quiet. So, loads of positives moving forward. It's just about keeping the group of players together, adding one or two more bits of quality, and then hopefully we'll get them results.